joining me for another episode is Chris McKelman, who is a uh, an excellent experienced mining engineer, and he has spent most of his life on the fleet management system side of things, both both sitting in the dispatch chair and also managing teams and and managing product. So Chris, uh, something that uh, we're both quite fond of, but you've got a ton of experience with is is fleet management systems. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, thanks for inviting me here. And yeah, what I was going to talk about today was basically the value proposition behind fleet management systems. Uh, uh, first off, data integrity uh, is something that you get from a fleet management system, having an automated, auditable source of production data, you know, as compared to paper system, uh, you, you get information you can trust. Um, and this gives you confidence in your decisions as well. So if, if you're if you're looking at this data and trying to figure out, you know, do we need another, is this fleet match correct? Do we need another shovel? Uh, that kind of, those kind of decisions really need some solid backing. Turning uh, turning data into, into information to make business decisions, right? Like if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Yeah, exactly. So that's a, you know, a very simple, but very fundamental uh, piece of the, the value proposition. Um, the other, really, I would say the core part of the fleet management value proposition is reducing waste. Uh, so in lean terms, we've got all these kinds of waste, but uh, in mining terms, uh, I think minimizing truck shovel idle time, you know, minimizing queue time, minimizing shovel hang time, that's really the name of the game. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made uh, optimizing payloads, uh, reducing empty haul. If you can get uh, your dynamic dispatch or your running open working, uh, creating opportunities for backhauls, uh, that's that's really where a lot of your uh, your savings can occur. Optimizing things like your your refueling, your brakes, your shift change logistics. Uh, once you know where everything is and who's driving everything, you're in a much better position to organize all that. Right on the uh, oil sand or ore side, um, improving recovery. Uh, so if you can automate your grade selection uh, to make sure that you're consistently accurately picking up what grade is being dug, um, blending, whether you're blending based on your, you know, your gold grams per ton, or whether you're blending against penalty elements like uh, fines or D50 or, you know, acid generating materials. Um, blending uh, in some cases can be higher value than the haulage optimization, just making sure you're getting the, the right grade, making sure that you're managing, uh, you're getting the maximum recovery through your uh, processing plant. There are only a few sites really, like the minority of sites that are using blending well, that have, are fully taking advantage of, of what you can do there. Beautiful. I love it. I'm going to do a recap. Yep. Data integrity, reducing waste, reducing rework, improving recovery, situational awareness, um, making sure that if you do have a fleet management system, you're pulling all those levers to get the maximum value. And you can get your money back with just one or two of those things, but to really maximize your return, uh, you really need to take advantage of all five. If somebody wants to reach out to you, the best way to do it? LinkedIn, everyone's on LinkedIn, and or go check out uh, outliersminingsolutions.com. Um, you can see everyone on the website and have a look at some of the work that we've done. Really cool. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you, Ryan.